What's going on, people? Hope y'all are doing fantastic. If you have not subscribed to the uh, Trucking Tribe email list, go ahead and, and uh, click that link below down there and uh, su subscribe. Um, last week, I uh, dropped a, a jewel in there, and someone called it. Um, they were, they were grateful because it's going to help them uh, where they are trying to go. So go ahead and then, uh, subscribe. But today's video is going to be about business credit, uh, what it is, what it's not, and um, how to keep yourself out of trouble. Uh, now, th this is not top secret information. Uh, all this information can be found on on the internet, um, but it's usually it's everybody does not put out. They only put out bits and pieces this person may talk about one thing this person may talk about another thing and never mention this thing over here so on and so forth kind of like these trucking videos um so i'm going to talk about what i i'm not going to say that i don't hear but usually when you hear these business credit videos they're always pumping oh man you can you can get this and you can get that and <coughs> excuse me and um well, hold on. Let, let's dissect all this stuff so you don't get yourself in trouble. Number one, business credit is a tool. Just like trucking is a, having a truck is a tool, business credit is a tool. It's not a destination. It's just to, basically, it's just to float the money. Um, that's all it is. And because once you take out a, if you run up a your, your business credit card, uh, or account or whatever, you still have to pay that off. I mean, it's not it, there. And if you, per, business credit is different than personal credit because if you run up a several thousand dollar um, charge on a business credit thing, a business credit account, and it goes to collections, they're coming after you. It ain't no, they're not gonna write it off or anything. They're coming after you and they are going to take your assets to cover that amount that you charged up. So I just wanna make sure that I say that so that you guys know that, you know, this is, even though business credit is a game, it's a serious game if you don't play it correctly. Um, so with that being said, some accounts want you to personally, it was called a PG, personal guarantee. Basically what they do is they want to tie your person, you, your social security number in with your, your business, your EIN number or your corporate number, um, which that's fine in the beginning. Um, like maybe you go to a, uh, big name bank, you open up a uh, uh, business um, business uh, checking account, a business savings account, and then while you're at that bank, you put give them a $500 deposit down on a secured card that reports to your business credit file, which is Dun & Bradstreet and Experion Business. Now, with that being said, that is just to help you get started. Do I recommend doing that through the course of your business? No, and that's just to help you get, not unless you want to. I mean, uh, don't let me you know, persuade you in one way or another, not unless you want to. But the whole purpose of, of um, I said this in another video, I'm just kind of like jumping around here, digressing. The whole purpose of, separating yourself from your business is you want your business to run under its own entity separating you so just for i don't like using this word worst case scenario worst case scenario something happens you're not able to uh pay for the debt on the accounts well they're just the company's going to take your your assets versus as the company's coming after your house not unless you put it up for collateral i mean i'm just you know it, the whole idea is not to do that with the business credit um 
So that that's pretty much that. Now there are different accounts. Everything is not one size fits all. There are different accounts when it comes to business credit. You have what's called a a, a net account. A net account is an account where, let's say you you make a charge of five hundred dollars today. Uh, I'll use fuel car, fuel cards as an example. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me stop. Let me let me back up. There are two credit bureau business credit bureaus that I know about. There may be other ones, but there are two that are mainstream that I know about. And first one is Dun and Bradstreet Public Information. Other one is Experion Business. Um, if you you know follow you know people building business credit, they'll talk about this. Now, ideally, I. I I'm glad I went went here. Ideally, you want to only deal with companies that report to Dun and Bradstreet or Experion Business, one or the other, or both at the same time. That's it. Not unless you have a need for a service where uh, they will offer you um, a credit account, you know, for your business. And you can utilize that, but other than that, it's it's pretty much just a waste of time. So, with that being said, there are several accounts. Uh, there are, there are multiple account. Uh, excuse me. There are different accounts that operate different. There are accounts that operate different. So you have what's called a net account. A net account is. Um, let's, let's use a fuel card, for example, and I'll just see, I have a rights express card and they were told, I was told that it reports to Dun and Bradstreet or it wasn't Experion. I don't remember which one, but it reports to one of them. I just pulled my Dun and Bradstreet last night to find out if it was reporting. It's not reporting. So most fuel cards are net accounts, meaning if you charge up, let's say you buy $1,000 of fuel this week, in seven days, they're going to, or they're going to take that uh, $1,000 out of your account, whether you, cause that's what you signed up for. So you, you, you buy the fuel this week, next week, they're just going to take it out of your account. I believe calm data is like that too. I'm not sure because I was looking at their, uh, their um, uh, terms of service yesterday or the other day, it was a couple of days ago. And uh, I think they're like that too, but that's how a net, oper a net account works. You pay for it, you, you get the products this day, you charge your account this day, and then 10, 15, 20, 30, do 30 uh, days later, they're going to, uh, either take the money out of your account or you have 30 days to pay it off in full. Um, the next account is a revolving account, meaning that um, you make a purchase. It's based like your regular credit, how your, uh, your credit card works. You make a purchase, then after so many days, uh, if you don't pay that balance off, they're gonna charge you a finance charge. A revolving, revolving account, pretty much the same. Um, revolving accounts report to DMB. Some of them do, some of them don't. Uh, same with net accounts. Some of them do, some of them don't. And then there are accounts that don't report to DMB. I hope this is making sense. There are accounts that don't report to DMB, Dun & Bradstreet, or Experion Business. Um, those accounts, these are the accounts that I was talking about to where, okay, it's nice to have a twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 limit worth of store credit, but not unless you need that service product or whatever there's really no really no need to you know to have that account because it's not going to do you any good they're not going to report to your uh your business credit file you know done and for your experience i mean they may pull it in the beginning to check you out to make sure you know this guy's real deal he has a business so on and so forth but at the end of the day it's not going to do you any good um 
but then you can get on, you know, online. Oh yeah, I got forty thousand dollars worth of credit over here, but it ain't gonna do you no good because it's not reporting anywhere. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind. Um, I think I covered everything I wanted to talk about in this video. We're already at ten minutes, a little over ten minutes. Um, so if you're not on to the Trucking Tribe email list, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, that link is down below down there and uh we will see you on the next one